Good morning, everyone. It's Marcy Jenning here. Happy Monday. Um, also known as Stampin' with Marcy. I forgot to say that at the start. Hopefully I am live. Please say hello when you join me. Um, I'm trying to look up on my iPad. And, oh, yes, yay, I am live. All right, so I'm not sure if it's going to be able to let me um, pull it up on my iPad, but I, at least I know this time I am live. Um, it seems anymore I have to do it two times. <laughs> so anyway, as, as I was saying, good morning. It's Marcy Denning, Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. For those of you who uh, may not have um, ever joined me before, um, and I am so happy to start my Monday with you. Good morning, Anne. Thank you for joining me. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. I was at the cottage uh, with Brad and Maisie and uh, cut some grass and uh, did some gardening in that. And I am happy to be home and back in my craft room. So um, before we get started, I want to remind you today is the last day to sign up for my Sweet as a Peach uh, Stamp Camp, um, which is being held Friday, June the 25th is the date that I have available. Um, it's from 6.30 till 9.30 p.m. Um, on Zoom, and then I'm, fingers crossed, going to be streaming it to my uh, a private Facebook page. So um, let's flip you around and bring you down. Hopefully we will not lose the stream. Okay, that went well. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's just tighten you up here and adjust. Okay, see if I can bring you up on my iPad. Nope. Nope, it's not coming up. So as always, I'm going to have to um, do my comments after the fact because it's just, I don't know, it's being so silly. All right, so. Okay, so let me just show you quickly. Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp. So the cost of this um, is $60, and I'm gonna actually give you a little sneak peek. It's going to include, let me move this out of the way. All right, so it is going to include your stamp set, six cards, there's three designs. You're gonna make two of each. You're gonna do two 3D items, as well as it's going to include a spool of the pale papaya and white ribbon. Um, and if you add it, turn it into a bundle to get the die. So this is the stamp set it includes. If you already have it, you can sub out for a stamp set of equal value. Uh, if you uh, bundle it with the dies, I'm going to give you the dies at $30. Just add on $30 to the price and you're going to get the uh, genial gems as a thank you from me. So um, I'm very happy with my cards that I have created, giving you a quick sneak peek. There'll be pillow gifts. There will be prizes. Um, you uh, can take part anywhere in Canada. So uh, be uh, mindful of that, that this, my class can ship anywhere in Canada. So good morning, Debbie. Thanks for joining. I'm on my tippy toes looking um, at, my, I, at my phone that I'm recording on. So yes, I don't know what's going on, <clears throat> excuse me, with my Facebook. So anyhow, where did I tuck my card for today? Oh, here it is. So we are using the Garden Bird Houses as well as the um, Tailor Made Tags dies. These are a must have in my opinion. I use them a lot. 
I really like them. As well, we're going to be using the Sweet as a Peach dies, this floral bundle bunch right here, and um, the Memories and More. Sorry, I had to open my office door to let Marshall out. Okay, and the Memories and More cards and envelopes. Um, card and envelopes here. So, they are so pretty. The card bases, they come like this with the pattern on the outside. Um, they are plain on the inside. And then look at these beautiful envelopes. Just gorgeous. So let me show you what I have um, come up with. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Marie. So this is the card we're gonna be creating. So pretty and look at how lovely those uh, tags are. I, like I said, I use these tags a lot. And here is um, the flowers. Okay, here's Marshall. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, just a minute. I have to remove a cat from my craft room. Out to go, buddy. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> when we're live, we just never know what's gonna happen, right? Okay, so, um, these uh, little flowers, I'm gonna show you, if you've never seen before, how easy it is to turn a flat die cut flower or punched flower into a cupped pretty little um, raised up. So yes, and uh, we did, fu I did fussy cut, but it's pretty straight line, so it's pretty easy to do. So let's get started here. All right, so because this is photopolymer, um, I've already I've already die cut my two tags. This is so saffron and uh, basic white, and I've also die cut out my little hole protector. I'm not sure what they're called. I'm calling it a hole protector. <laughs> so yes, all right. So I've got my thick basic white. Oh, and the ribbon is the very vanilla um, scalloped lace trim. I don't use this very often. And when I was looking for something else to add to my card here, I thought, ooh, I think that would look just lovely with my birdhouse. And then my colors for my blends are pretty straightforward and simple. They are um, Pool Party, light and dark, so saffron, light and dark, and then the gray granite. I stamped my birdhouse in the, I better check now since Marshall just walked across my craft desk. Um, make sure that we don't have any cat hair on there. And my hello, and that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> I find sometimes that the um, black is too harsh. I don't want that um, dark of a color for my project. So I pull out gray granite seems to be my go-to um, as it's kind of a brownie gray, like a stone, I think. It's um, not quite as harsh, I don't think, as the, um, as the uh, black. So I find that it gives me a nicer look for certain projects. Certain projects, yes, you want the, um, you want the black. But then there's other times that no, I don't want that. I want to, um, I want to have a more subtle look, and that which is what I have here. Sorry, words are hard this morning. <laughs> it's Monday. Um, I also used my blending brush um, on the back here because if you look, you can see how stark white that is. So by using my blending brush. 
um, to give it that little bit of the blue tone to it in the background, it just adds that little bit extra, I think. All right, so we're not fancy coloring at all for the stat, the um, the post for the birdhouse. Just straight on um, light gray granite, giving it that weathered look that wood would have. And then um, let's do my dark first of the um, So Saffron. So doing the peak here and underneath here. This peak here and down here and then right in oops that's supposed to be uh-oh let's flip that over <laughs> that's supposed to be blue although it might work out okay we'll see if the blue it, <laughs> the blue will be okay on that let's come in with my dark pool party getting ahead of myself there Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna come in with our light so saffron and color the roof. I colored a bunch of these in a whole bunch of colors. Just trying to see what I liked. I Googled um, garden birdhouses to look at different colors that they people paint them, the real ones. And there was some really bright, there was some subtle, there was wood, but I decided that <clears throat> I, um, I colored a few bright and um, then a few lighter and I decided I really liked this and it really paired well with the, um, Memories and More card pack. They are so pretty, the bases. And easy, easy, easy to whip up a card when you've got your bases already decorated. And you get 20 envelopes and card bases. 20, that's a lot for your money. I always like it when uh, my money goes a lot farther on my crafting supplies. Okay, so that was the dark um, that I put down first and then I'm just kind of blending it out. I'm not doing a whole lot of shading. I just want it to be just rough underneath where that would have a bit of a shadow up here in the corners. So it is very, very hot here. Um, we've got the humidity back. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be today. Um, hot, I know. That's all I know. <laughs> so, perfect day for me to be hanging out in my craft room. So, look at how quick and easy that was to um, color. Okay, so we're going to set that aside for the moment. And I'm going to bring in my mini stamp and cut emboss machine. And my peach dies or my flower from the peach dies. So this here, all in one, die cuts out three flowers at the same time. Perfect. Okay, so, and I've got, um, here, I've got a piece of pool party. Oh, wrong side. 
we're just going to crank that through. It was very, very busy in Sobble Beach. Um, lots of people in the water. So there we have our three flowers. Get them off. Now, with your take your pick tool, you're gonna get a stylus end. So you just take out one of the ends and pop that in. So you can use your fatter one or you can use your thinner one, depending on um, what you're needing it to do. I want my fat end like that. So you're gonna place this on your um, flower and just applying pressure in a circular motion. You're just gonna do little tiny circles and keep pushing and you need to use your, like a pierce mat or something that, um, has cushion and give that you can then press down in and it creates that teeny tiny little cup shape so that I think it just adds much more character to that um, flower. So let's do the other two. And it doesn't take much time at all, so you just press and then little tiny circular motion Keep going and boom, there you have it. Easy peasy. A fun little technique that's gonna add just that little bit more to your card. Okay, so I don't need that anymore. Let's put that back in. <clears throat> All right, so next up, we are going to put these here for the moment. Get my blending brush. Okay. Oh, it's now showing me my comments. It's not showing the stream. I cannot see that I'm live doing anything but at least I can see um, see your comments so at least a few of them Carol says the stamp set is supposed to arrive tomorrow yes I love this stamp set it is so pretty all right so I've got my um, pool party on here and I'm just going to add a bit to my tag just so that it's not quite as harsh and it's all in the little details that you can add to your projects that really take it from pretty and nice to wow I think so all right, I, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna close that up, get that out of the way, bring this back in. Oh, actually first, let's cut these out. So it doesn't take much because line around that end just slightly and I'm using my left hand because I'm a ready to turn my cardstock and just I like to leave a little bit of an edge around and then I'm just gonna come in and curl that a bit okay this is my bottom that's gonna be showing so let's just clean that up just 
ever so slightly. There we go, one done. Trim this down just a smidge more. The less excess cardstock you've got on your project, the easier it is to um, come in and fussy cut it out. So straight across. And the more you fussy cut, the more comfortable you get with it. We can't have dies or punches with every single stamp set. So a little fussy cutting. As long as you have a nice pair of small, sharp um, scissors. That's the key. You can't you can't fussy cut with those um, long bladed scissors. They're just too. It's just too much. And see, we're done. Okay, so we are going to. Oops, we need to stamp our hello first. And the way I'm going to do that is I am going to lay this out as it would be on my card, my uh, tag there, so that I can um, visualize. I've told you guys before, I'm a very visual um, person, so I'm a visual learner. So if I've got my um, elements all laid out there and I want this about halfway and I'm lining it up over on at the stitched side. There we go. Close this up. Now we're done with that. So we're going to flip this over and I've got my stamp and seal and I want it on this side here, so I'm going to take and run my seal all the way and then flip it over to make sure and then just use my finger to curl any of that excess um, tape over and then um, I found that seven of um, the scallops. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven was what I needed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So cut right there. And then I flip it over so that I can line this up on it. I don't want it I don't want full scallop showing I only want like half of it so that way if I'm lining it up this way I'm visual with it I can see and then I'm just going to come in and snip that overhang off okay then we are going to come in and because this is small um, I find it easier to apply my adhesive to the larger piece there's a goober on there all right come on my glue hasn't been used and it's stuck. All right, let's grab another one. This is almost full. So let's see if I can get it out of this one. Oh, and there's a hair stuck to that. Come on. Oh, come on, Monday. Be nice to me.
can see that I've got, if you take your take your pick tool, and there's that. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's hope that it's not gonna come gushing out. Not squeezing, I'm just adding a couple drops like that. So you can whoop, see that I've only got a few little drops there so that I could then place and adjust and lift it up to make sure it is straight. There we go. Move these out of the way. All right, so next we are going to figure out how about angled we want it. So I'm going to be applying my adhesive to um, this area right here. And then I, depending on how much of the uh, so saffron you want showing, and this is just glued straight down. I don't want too much out at the, this point in time because then it will get all over that. So lift it up because I want my hello to be that part to be straight so then you can just give it a little tug when you're using liquid adhesive making sure that my um, holes there are lined up then where did I put my my card base fold and burnish should be good so I have some of my linen thread this is the end of the spool so I'm gonna pull through that looks like that should be enough to do a bow with if not I've got another full spool and I'm gonna bring it through twice so that I've got a bit more showing and then I'm just gonna tug it so that we are even. I'm not getting it tight yet because I want both tails to be even so I have a fairly even bow. Close enough. Now I can tug it. And then I ripped my thumbnail off this weekend. So besides having a sore thumb, it uh, I use my thumbnail to grab my loops and that. So it's a little trickier to create like that. Okay, so there we have our loops done. So we're gonna pull these together, the tails, and snip them so that they're even, get you out of the way. Okay, so bring in my birdhouse so that I can see I have to glue this together. So I'm gonna place it on so I can visualize how high up I need it to be. So about there, so I know that this here is where I need to put a little bit of that glue. And get that centered so that my birdhouse is straight and 
fairly even on either side. And that's good. Okay, next we are going to take and apply glue just to the um, so saffron layer. And that is gonna go right in the center. I'm centering by focusing on my white layer, not the saffron. So we want that lined up across the top and bottom, looking fairly straight. All right, so then <clears throat> my dimensionals, because this is fairly skinny, I'm going to come in with um, my mini dimensionals and I am going to cut three strips so that, because we don't want, whoop, we don't want any saggy. I use a lot of dimensionals, I know. And then one big one for right up here. So nothing is gonna be sagging on that puppy. <laughs> okay, almost. So who else has this stamp set, anybody? besides Carol's getting it this week. Okay, so we are gonna take our birdhouse and it's going to be snugged up right tight with my hello. Before I stick that down, Make sure that I'm not crooked. Okay, and then the final thing is to add our pretty little cupped flowers. One, two, and three. So we are going to just set them on. And then we need to get some pearls because as pretty as that looks, it's not quite finished. So I'm just adding a titch more glue to the centers so that my pearls have that extra reinforcement to stick to. So my, um, case with all of my pearls in it. I prefer the small pearls when I'm working um, creating. I don't use the large ones a whole lot so you can see I have all of these part packages of the large pearls. Like look at them all. I really need to start using them but like this here it calls for the small pearl not the large one. I want that dainty and um, delicate looking, not over whoop, the top in your face large. I want it soft and small to go with my design. All right, so this is gonna take just a few moments for that um, liquid glue to dry and Um, fully adhere but there you have it what do you guys think now let's see if it's going to um, see if I can't see more comments here so strange okay so yeah I can't see 
the video. It says permission denied. Okay, so good morning, Jeannie. Thanks for sharing. Um, sharing is caring. It's how I reach more crafty friends, customers, and team members. Um, Marie says she should be receiving hers the next um, day or so. Her garden bird houses. Yeah, I just, this is such a pretty stamp set to um, create with. And let's get it all in view there. Um, okay, so thank you, Carol. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Marie and Jeannie. Yes, so very simple. And like I said, it's all in the details when you um, just add those few extra little things like fussy cutting out, adding that um, hole protector, um, that little bit of lace trim, creating um, a cup shape with your flower simply by using a stylus. All those things really just add that little bit extra and these um, memories and more card pack um, cards and envelopes I mean so pretty and easy to use okay so um, and I didn't think enough to <laughs> I had to pull up the pages and all that but they are all available in my online store right now please use this month's host code when shopping in my online store um, if your order is under $200 so hold just one moment I'm going to pull you up flip you around okay Yes, the heat and humidity makes it so that you don't want to be outside, really. I did one very slow loop in the woods this morning with my sister Anne. Very slow because I fell off the deck this weekend at the cottage. I um, misstepped, missed the step. It's not the first time I've done it. It's not the last time I'm going to do it. Um, I fell so hard my glasses flew off my face. I hurt both my wrists, I hurt my knee, and my right ankle um, is very swollen and sore, but I'm still walking on it because, yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, thank you so much for joining me today. I truly do appreciate it. Don't forget, today is the last day to sign up for my Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp. Um, closes today, orders going in today. Um, for the Friday, June 25th. So again, you're going to be creating six cards. Oh, hello, Nancy Tickner. Thanks for joining. Um, six cards, two 3D items, a spool of ribbon, pillow gifts, prizes. I will be shooting the videos for the three cards. Um, you'll get a PDF with all of the measurements. I will be uh, shooting vid three videos so that um, you can familiarize yourself. The one card is a pocket fold card. So um, if you can't join us for the Zoom or be um, on the whole night, it's 6.30 to 9.30 Eastern time here in Ontario. Um, so with your videos, you can create later, but I'm doing it through Zoom so that we can see each other. I so miss crafting with people, so um, we're going to do it through Zoom, but you don't have to be on camera if you don't want to be. You can um, not click the, um, the uh, camera option. You can just have the, um, the um, sound. So um, it's whatever you prefer. And then, oh, fingers crossed, I can get it to stream through a private, through to a private Facebook page, but Facebook is not liking me recently, so I don't know what's going on, but fingers crossed it will work. So anyhow, see you on Wednesday night. Have a fabulous Monday. Uh, Wednesday is 6.30 p.m. that I will be uh, going live right here on my Facebook business page. All right, bye for now.